Hey guys, finally, I've got my review for Growing Ups Up. Sorry for the delay, I've just been very busy with school, but Friday, I'm out. Now, I was kind of excited for this movie based on the trailers, but there are other reasons that I wanted to see this movie. One is that it was shot in my state, and I recognized a lot of the places that were filmed in this movie. And two, my brother auditioned for the role of the young David Spade in this movie, and came in fourth place. I remember him getting the script for the line that he was going to say in the audition. And at that time, the movie was called The Lake House. The line was cut out, though. And the kid that got the role sucked. It's still pretty cool though. Now to the review. The plot of this movie is very simple. Five friends get word that their old basketball coach has died. They decide to all get <clears throat> oh fuck. They decide to all get together and go to the lake house that they used to go to when they were kids. They bring along their wives and kids and head out. Now the cast. Adam Sandler is good in this movie and is really being himself. Kevin James is actually quite good and really works well. He was one of the highlights of the film. Chris Rock was terrible in the beginning, but does resurrect himself. There still weren't very many funny jokes with him, though. David Spade works kind of well with the humor, but I just wish he went back to movies like Tommy Boy. And Rob Schneider kind of surprised me at how he wasn't terrible. Selma Hayek, Steve Buscemi, and Colin Quinn also have roles in this movie. While watching this movie, I kept thinking to myself, to, for, to the jokes, like, okay, this is kind of stupid, okay, that was retarded, but then I thought, I am laughing. Hard. And if I laugh, that's that's good. The movie has no original plot turns. It's pretty much just, just formula, but it actually works. It was just, let's get these five actors that are always in the same Happy Madison films and uh, put them on screen, get them together, and that's what it felt like. It didn't feel like it was trying too hard. The kids that played the adult kids were actually pretty good. As I said before, this movie was shot around where I live, and it was kind of it was pretty cool because, like, in different sec se uh, sections of the theater at different times, people would point and say, "Oh, I know that, I know them, I know him." Just kind of cool. Now, of course, there are some things that I didn't like. The director is named Dennis Dugan and does films like. Uh, let me look at the list. You don't mess with the Zohan, which I hated. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, which I also didn't like. The Benchwarmers, Big Daddy, Happy Gilmore, all th all three, which I liked, and Beverly and Beverly Hills Ninja, um, pretty good. Now a lot of his jokes are funny, but he ju he just has to realize this isn't the way people act. He sometimes makes actors look bad, like for instance Chris Rock in this one. You know people just don't talk and act like that. There are also a lot of jokes that fall flat. A lot of bad fart jokes, a lot of childish humor, but for the most part, this movie's funny. Now, overall, this is a very funny movie. Pretty, pretty stupid, but a good time waster. 8 out of 10.